Hi, Pisces. Thank you for viewing me today. I am doing your general spread. I'm going to get some cards right now, apparently, even before I start. You know, you guys, I, I'm going to say something. I woke up with a song this morning because I put out your intent last night that I was going to do your reading. And I always hear music sometimes if it's a strong message. So this morning, I woke up with a song in my head and I've been singing it all morning. And I couldn't figure out why I'm singing this song. And it's a big message. And then I heard something. It was like a, three words. Um, the song is It's Now or Never. And I just been singing it by Elvis Presley. It's like, I haven't heard it. You know, I think there's something around you right now because that supermoon in Aqua, I think it supercharged a lot of people about something. Uh, the two cards or the one card that flopped, plopped out is it's in the hand, meaning the universe is your partner. And the song was It's Now or Never. It's like, it's now or never. There's something you need to do. There's something that is pushing you in a direction. And my spirit guides want me to tell you, it's now or never. Meaning that, I don't like the word never. I don't believe it exists. But I think they're just trying to tell me that there's gates opening around you right now. I'm going to look. This is good for all placements for Pisces. I'll be looking at your recent past, the crossing energies, and what is headed in. It's going to come in pretty fast, too. Probably this week to next week. It's going to be so strong. But let's look at the current energies for the beautiful sign of Pisces. So Pisces, this is general. I always ask for the strongest messages for the sign of Pisces. Strongest energies. Show me the cards I need to see and feel for the sign of Pisces, please. Strongest energies around the sign of Pisces right now. This reading is for... What do you want to tell me, Spirit? Anything? Guess not, Pisces. <laughs> they just need more energies. I do apologize. Maybe in the hand... You know, the universe is your partner. Um, the card that popped out earlier, I feel like they're telling me, we got you. Strongest energies. Thank you for the, thank you for the sign of Pisces, please. Strongest energies around the sign of Pisces. This reading is for, thank you. There it is. All right. Here we go. This is going to be, what I'm feeling. I have a tidy house, clarity and organization around you right now. Well, I told you that super moon made everybody have a lot of clarity. We are cleaning house right now. And not just the aquas, everyone. You know, it's the last super moon of the year. It was Aquarius and a tidy house, clarity and organization. Yeah, you're doing something around you right now. I have lost in space needing direction. So just right now, you're trying to figure something out, I feel, going towards the light. But I think there's something in your life right now that is pushing you in a new direction. It's just what I'm feeling. <laughs> I have mindful groupthink around you right now. Perhaps you're trying to think with other people, talk with other people, you know, about something here that you're cleaning house with. Because there's something here you want direction in. And it's now or never. I have a gathering around the power of community. Well, apparently there's something here that you're working with other people with, talking to other people with. And I think it's about the clarity and organization of going in a different direction about something. I have drifter experiencing life as it comes. Well, lost in space, needing direction, and the drifter experiencing life as it comes is almost, I feel, as if you're taking one day at a time. Mm-hmm. I have the falling angel, spiritual narcolepsy. What I feel from this is you're being awakened. In other words, maybe there was a part of you, I feel recently, I'm going to look at your recent past, that maybe you kind of lost faith. I do feel that you're being pushed. I, I just, I feel it with this card. It's like you're being pushed from whatever you maybe had lost some faith in. I heard the, oh God, I heard, you know what? I'm going to tell you what I heard because I don't know where it came from. But I heard before this reading, a bold step forward. I haven't seen it, but I just heard that song and then a bold step forward. Like that's what they want me to tell you. Take a bold step forward. Uh, I have the crossing initiation around you. Like you know you're crossing over. You know there's something you need to do in going to another realm or another side. And they have stranger curiosity. 
So I almost feel like this is something that right now around you is you know there's something awaiting for you. It's just the courage to go in that direction. I feel like my spirit guides are telling me to have other people help you. That's what I feel. You know, there's always people around who can help. All right. But I'm going to look at your uh, recent past. I have the four of wands. Um, and then I'll be looking at what's coming in after I look at the crossing energies if you've been dealing with somebody. Spirit guides. Mm. Recent past for my beautiful Pisces, please. It's now or never. I don't know. It's just not the whole song. It's just certain lyrics. I keep hearing it. Recent past for the sign of Pisces, please. Show me what I need to see. Oh, recent past for the sign of Pisces, please. What else do you want to tell me? Recent past. Recent past. Uh-oh. There it is, you guys. <laughs> All right, here it is, recent past. I had the Ace of Swords that flipped out sideways, and it was with the Seven of Wands. It was like literally right in front of me, and then it went down. I'm going to start under the deck, but that is about you didn't have the full clarity of something that you, you, you were fighting with. You wanted to believe something, but you were just not 100% sure. Because under the deck, I have the Knight of Swords. That's the Knight of Communication. Boy, you just weren't 100% sure about something that was being said to you. The Knight of Swords is fast air. It's fast communication. It's fast forward thinking. But I do feel that there was somebody who was always coming at you about something and you just weren't 100% sure because I have the Ace of Swords sideways. I have it with the Six of Cups. It's something or someone you have felt connected to to a very long time. Well, you thought that was your, or you felt it was your other half and it could have been your other half. You know, but the Six of Cups is a card of big nostalgia about how something once made you very happy. And it was with somebody you felt connected to. I'm just seeing it because I see the Hermit and the Ace of Swords sideways, you guys. So I'm kind of feeling something. I do have the Hierophant. It's very traditional energy. It's Taurus. But I do believe you thought there was something recently in your past that you were going to have a higher level of commitment with, with someone. Because I have the Empress. Beautiful energy. Pisces. You were patient. You were planting seeds with something or someone because you really felt they were going to harvest one day. You were very grounded. You've been patient. You've been kind. I don't know where this is coming from, but I'm going with it. It's just sometimes just things that come out of me, but you got trapped in your thoughts about something. The Eight of Swords is a card of you were trapped in your thoughts with a blindfold on because you have the Ace of Swords sideways. You didn't have the clarity, but you've been trying to figure some things out. The Knight of Swords is, I feel, things that just came at fast at you with communication because you were standing your ground about something. You've been analyzing it. And then I have the equal give and take card, the Six of Pentacles. This is about waiting to receive. You might have received, but it's a card of equal give and take. And there was something about here that I felt you gave into, but I don't feel you received the way you wanted to receive. Because then I have something that is a completion. This is going to roll into your current energies and you wanting to take a leap of faith. I got the completion card. Last major arcana, zero major arcana. All right, I'm going to stop there for a second. Um, I do have the King of Swords staring at me. Ooh, that King of Swords, Aquarius energy. We had that Aquarius supermoon. You know, um, it could have been someone you've been dealing with. But I feel you just started coming detached and standing in some power or having somebody around you in a lot of power of just, you know, um, fighting for something. Could be somebody you're connected to. I feel like somebody was helping you fight for something. I don't know why. I have the Knight of Love Sideways. You, um, this is big water energy for them. It's you, I feel. I feel you're, you're on the fence recently in the past about do I want to feed this any more love? I'm kind of losing some hope and faith here because I see your current energies. The last card they gave me to the right is Kaboom, the tower. Tower is something that you just all of a sudden, wow, whoa, hey, was that real? That tower is a lot of rude awakenings, but the tower is a card of destruction of an old structure. 
it was once fresh, got built up over time, but over time that tower has to come down just like any old building, you know, especially if a lot of new stuff isn't being built into it. No remodeling going on there. <laughs> oh, okay, three more cards. I do have Sagittarius, Big Temperance. You were very patient. I felt that with the Empress card coming into your current energies. You've been trying to balance and blend everything. But it's been creating a lot of nighttime friction. Like you feel, you know, there's something that isn't right with the Nine of Swords. That is a card of friction. I feel there's nighttime friction for you. You were trying to balance something. You had so much patience. But I have you showing up with a lot of conflicts. Five of Wands. There's someone or something around you that you just can't be on the same page with. And I think you it started, you started, you kept sacrificing a piece of you to try to make something work here, but you took a time out and you've gone off to karma waters because right now coming into your current energies is have Aquarius. That's hope, faith, and healing about something that is going to bring you a lot of happiness because your intuition is telling you something, Pisces, your energy is in the high priestess. Yeah. And then I have the new page of water. Uh, I just kind of felt a lot of stuff. That's why I kept digging. So what I feel from this is that this is something recently in the past. You, you, you were patient. You definitely were with the Empress and Temperance. You had a lot of hope and faith in a situation. I think you started analyzing something. I just kind of feel like this is something you feel that with the Ace of Swords sideways, there really isn't as much give and take as I thought there was that was equal. I just feel that, that, and you started like fighting for something here or somebody wanted more from you than you could give. So I'm going to look at the crossing energies now. If you are not dealing with anyone, there's a timestamp in the description box to move into the incoming. All right, just put these aside. Pisces, I can't wait to see what's coming in for you because that song, I think the gateways are opening. Something's about to change. You just got to take a leap of faith. So I have the world in the full recently. The last two cards in here. Crossing energy spirit guides. My Pisces have been dealing with. Thank you. I heard one more shuffle and I'm going to listen. Crossing energies, please, for the sign of Pisces. What would you like to show me? Oh, I have justice under the deck, huh? Crossing energies, my Pisces have been dealing with. Tell me about the crossing energies for the sign of Pisces, please. Thank you. What else do you want to tell me? Crossing energies for the sign of Pisces. Anything else? Yeah. Four of Wands is under the deck. That's my 11-11, but oh man, they're having some kabams. Well, I've got the tower. That the Four of Wands is... The Four of Wands is a card of reunions, gateways opening, um, new beginnings. But recently they feel as if things have just been going kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Because you have it too. Because I have the Page of Wands, that's new eager fire energy. They, I feel this person really wanted to get something started with you. They really want something to work, but it's a page, you guys. Um, very eager about something, I feel. I have the Six of Wands. They definitely were eager about having a victory with you, Pisces. Yeah. And then I have the Two of Pentacles. But they feel as if something here has been very unstable with you. But I have the Knight of Communication and there's Justice. That's what I was waiting to see. Knew it was going to show up. I felt it when I saw it under the deck. Uh, justice is about, they're waiting for communication with you about everything being legal, fair, balanced. Not so much legal matters, but I just kind of feel like this is someone who just wants truths to be spoken with you, the scales to be balanced. But I feel there's something over here that you've just lost patience with. I think you tried. Hmm. All right, let's look. Over to my left, I have the big king of swords. Uh, I saw it in your energies. And then I have the empress. Oh, matching cards, yeah? <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. King of swords is big... Uh, Aquarian energy, Gemini energy. I see Libra, 
But this is somebody who definitely is staying very grounded with the Empress. Um, they kind of, what I feel, I'm just going to say what I feel, is that this is somebody who really did want to have something beautiful with you. But the Empress is an energy of, I will sit here and wait and let things come to me. And with the King of Swords, that's somebody who can be very detached. You know, standing up for something with their truth, honesty, and integrity. Because everyone's different. You know, I don't know what happened. I have big Leo in reverse. That is big strength. Someone who lost strength and courage about something here. They just are fighting it, fighting it, fighting it. Oh, I was going to say, what are they fighting? I have judgment sideways, Pisces. Um, person is trying to release this. Wondering if it can be rebirthed into something new because right in front of me is something they do feel. This was a love connection with you. The Two of Cups. Just saying what the cards are saying. <laughs> you guys, I know the cross watch is like that. Ah, I'm telling you, this is what I see here. And this is what I feel. You know, it's somebody who is losing courage. They've lost strength. They're waiting for something to come to them now. And with judgment here is they're not releasing this. There, there's something here that happened because they have the tower that they're just not releasing. So something new can be rebirthed because they're holding on to this. They felt this was a love connection. I could have been juggling. I had the two of pentacles. All right. Let's look at what's coming in for you because Pisces, that is why we're here. It's going to start rolling in fast too. Fast this week. All right. Yeah, let's use these psychic tarot cards. Mm -hmm. Let's see what I'm feeling. Uh-oh. <laughs> I got the waiting game. It's now or never. <laughs> Incoming energies, please. What cards do you want to show me for the beautiful sign of Pisces? For the incoming. Thank you. Thank you, spirit guides. Incoming energies. For the sign of Pisces. That's base chakra. What do you want to show me for the incoming energies? Thank you. For the beautiful sign of Pisces. Incoming energies for the sign of Pisces. Thank you. Anything else? Anything else? Apparently there was. Okay, Pisces. I see the cards. I have conflict and defeat under the deck. And then I have triumph with patience. I feel like this is about a bold step forward. You know, conflict and defeat is literally running away from the things that have been nothing but conflicts. Sometimes you just got to throw in the towel and say, all right, to get your triumph and to please have patience, patience with yourself, I believe. Because the first card to my left is triumph and success. And I have it with big power coming in. I told you, you need to take a bold step forward. That's what I'm feeling. It's what I'm feeling and the incoming energies. If you don't do it, I feel the universe is going to do it for you. I have partnerships and alliances and I have it with hope because passion is about to get ignited. Yeah. Partnerships and alliances, other people, something that is going to give you hope again, make you accomplish something. All right, stop there. I do have partnerships and alliances, like I said. It's coming together for you, Pisces. They want me to tell you positive movement forward. <laughs> I just am kind of sensing a theme here. You know, the base chakra is our base. It keeps all our chakras in alignment. Something's coming together for you. I have accelerated motion. And I have memories of love. Pisces. This is about you taking off after what you want. And I think it's something you truly cherish that maybe you forgot about. What I'm feeling, it's what I feel. Because the next card they gave me is New Beginnings. And I have it with the Fertility card, which is about abundance. You know, um, giving birth to new things. That's the angel of abundance with New Beginnings. Wow. You, you got something flying in at you. And I think other people are going to help you. I think that's beautiful. Whatever you're going through, I don't know everybody's situation is different, but I have passion ignited with positive movement forward. And then rejoice and celebration. 
Something's coming together for you, but I am going to look. Oh, I have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is work, work, work. Focus, focus, focus on you, your stability, and your money. Spirit Guides. One shuffle. Incoming energies, please, for the beautiful sign of my Pisces. Thank you. Hmm. What do you want to show me? Incoming energies, please. Thank you. For the sign of Pisces. Why are these oracles here? What do you want to tell the sign of Pisces about the... Hmm. Incoming energies, please. For the sign of Pisces. Hmm. What else do you want to show me for the incoming energies? Thank you. For the sign of Pisces. Underneath that, because I have the big king of steel. Oh, man. <laughs> Shown up three times in this reading. The king of air. Um, this is you being very detached and coming into the energy of you are standing up for something with full on truth, honesty, and integrity. You're not going to back down with no emotion. I do have Scorpio under that transformation, Pisces. And I have it with finally getting to where you want to be in the incoming energy is the Hierophant. I just feel you got a positive movement forward. Bold step forward. You got the power to do it around you right now. Hierophant, Taurus. And then underneath that, you guys, I have the Wheel of Fortune. It's now or never. In the incoming energy, something is playing out for you. Oh, boy, Pisces. Uh, it's just, you just got to put some work into something with the Seven of Pentacles. Watch it grow. And I have it with the queen of love. Now that's all about love. Putting love into something here. Pisces, I think something's about to change big for you. Over to my left is I have the six of cups and the five of cups. You know, the five of cups is the only thing that might be weighing you down a little bit, I feel they want me to tell you, is about memories of what was because there's two cups right next to you and I feel they want me to tell you it's about to get filled. You just got to take a bold step forward. I don't know what it's about. Maybe it's about mending something, moving forward with your life, a new career path. I don't know yet. I have an Ace of Wands showing up with the Four of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands is fire energy, but it's a passionate brand new beginning that's going to be ignited. With the Four of Pentacles here, I feel like this is don't hold back, you know, and if someone's holding back from you, if someone becomes stingy, I feel they want me to tell you to run, take a leap. I just feel that. I, don't, I haven't seen all the cards. Here it is. It's now or never in the incoming energies. Gateways are about to open. Four of wands. Four of wands is something that is opening for you. I have it with the seven of swords. Seven of Swords. A lot of people are like, oh no, not the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is Aquarian energy. But it's also a card about using strategy. Strategy on how to get to that Four of Wands is what I'm kind of feeling here. Incoming energies. I think that there's something here that's opening for you. And they want me to tell you to use strategy on how you're going to get into those Four of Wands. Because you have the Ace of Wands twice. Last card they gave me is there it is right there because this is going to create your ultimate, what we all want, happiness. The Ten of Cups. Big water energy. So I really do feel this is something to be open to love with, knowing that something in your life is changing, you know, and it's bringing you to here, the Hierophant. And this is a very traditional energy about having faith and commitment to knowing there is something better that you'll be connected to. It's a card of marriage too. You know, and with Scorpio showing up, this is transformation and it's with the King of Swords. You know, coming out of an old cocoon, but you're standing up for something, you're fighting for something. And they want me to tell you fight because you got two Ace of Wands and it's positive movement forward with a lot of power, Pisces. Triumph and success. Triumph from whatever conflict and defeat you've had. All right? Yay. <laughs> I've been saying that a lot lately. I don't even know where it's coming from. I am going to get two messages for you, my beautiful Pisces. Oh, this is from my spirit guides. It always ties the reading together. It really does. Spirit guides. 
two messages today for the sign of Pisces about the reading. What do you want to tell my beautiful Pisces? All right. What would you like to show me, please? Two cards for Pisces. Thank you. Two messages about this reading. One more card, please. I see a couple cards there. I just, okay. That's all. I just kind of felt there was something bigger here. I always go by how I feel. Mm -hmm. There it is. 10 and 10. Last card. Okay, first card on my left is the six of Ariel Pisces. Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Mm -hmm. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. You're about to get help in the incoming energies because something in your life is changing for you. It's trying to play out in your favor for victory and success and triumph. I do have the three of Raphael. I see rejoice and celebration. I just see too many things going on here. Reasons to celebrate. <laughs> A community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. This is just something that's, I think you're going to get a lot of help. In the, I just feel this incoming energy is this power of love you're attracting. I have divine guidance. And I have one more card. The search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. <laughs> Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. There's people around you who are going to help you to get you positive movement forward from whatever has been this. I mean, triumph and victory and success and power around you. Wow. And then, of course, the Ten of Raphael. And we finished off with the Ten of Cups. Love and blessings fill your life. Wow. Harmonious relationships with family members. And then we will get to happily ever after. It says happily ever after. This is happily ever after. That's what I have for you today. Beautiful reading. If you guys enjoyed it and it resonated, please remember to like, leave a comment if you like, subscribe if you're not. Thank you. Thank you to all my beautiful Pisces for all your love and support. I am truly grateful and wishing everyone many beautiful blessings. Thank you.